Hey, welcome to my Jungle Scout Opportunity Score tutorial. In this video, you are going to understand this parameter that's part of the Jungle Scout Chrome extension called Opportunity Score. As you can see here, it's part of the extension that appears on the right upper side. So we're going to have a quick read here, and then we're going to go in depth into understanding what it is. In the description, you're going to find the best discounts for Jungle Scout, a download of the extension as well, and a playlist with all my Jungle Scout tutorials tutorials, over 100 of them. My name is Bob Evan, great to meet you, seller on Amazon. So we have this opportunity score on the right upper side of the extension. Let's see what it means. So the opportunity score is an in-house algorithm graded on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is the highest opportunity and one is the lowest. The score is calculated based on all listings extracted and their demand according to units sold, competition and listing quality score. So basically what happens is for all those units that you have here, here, currently 59 kind of products that we're seeing. The Jungle Scout extension is kind of uh, dropping you a score of one in this case from 10, medium demand with high competition. So this is a low score, which means that it's not a good score according to Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Let's read a bit in depth and see kind of what it all means. So let's kind of read again. Extension understanding the opportunity score. The opportunity score is an in-house algorithm that helps you quickly gauge the opportunity of a group of listings, you will see this option at the top right corner in the extension. So pretty much what I've shown you before. And let's read here. That's that's where it gets interesting. So the opportunity score factors in the demand for a product according to units sold, competition, or how many sellers there are, as well as the quality of similar listings. So it takes these parameters into account and then it gives the score. So the scale is from one to 10, where one is the lowest opportunity and 10 is the highest. One to three opportunity score. It means there is a little opportunity for you to enter markets where the score is this low. Low scores indicate there is not enough demand or competition is too high. Now, I wanna tell you that, of course, you should pay attention to those opportunity scores, but that's maybe where the opportunity lies for you because it depends on the product that you're creating, and maybe you will have a solution for that market that seems not as good for Jungle Scout, but you have a great solution for that market, something that was not seen before. You have some improvement for the product, so maybe it will be good for you. But just according to all these very important parameters for product picking and research, like we mentioned before, so units sold, competition, or how many sellers out there, quality of similar listings. So maybe if all the listings are low quality, there's not much competition and a lot of units sold, a lot of revenue. So it kind of makes sense to be one of the newer sellers because you grab more sales, but maybe even in the competitive niche, because you have the tools and the knowledge, you still can be well. So let's read further. Four to five opportunity score. These may be good products, but need more research. Try searching using alternate phrases and recheck the opportunity scores as you go. Alternate phrases mean like, uh, for example, a product that used to sell kitchen scissors. So maybe it's giving you some results, maybe four to five opportunity score. Try searching for other keywords that kind of uh, explain what this product is all about. So if it's kitchen shears that you were looking for, then search for kitchen scissors or uh, kitchen shears for poultry. Now, you need to understand where these keywords are coming from. For that, you can use Keyword Scout, one of the tools of Jungle Scout. So what you could do, you can go to Amazon and let's say these are like these baskets here. So you can take this ASIN, okay? And then what you could do is you can input it into Keyword Scout. I have a tutorial for Keyword Scout in the description as well and up here on the card. And then you're gonna get all the keywords that this product is ranking for. So if you take the best sellers, basically you'll see all the kind of uh, keywords that the top sellers are ranking for. So this means you can kind of check more keywords or you can click here on Keyword Cloud. It's also gonna give you some results of uh, keywords that kind of uh, represent this niche. So that's four to five. So, but then if you see this high opportunity score, like six to 10, so these are the best opportunities and you want to start digging into these products more. Add the top results to your product tracker and check back on results often. Product tracker is the tool by Jungle Scout, also tutorial in the description. And there's also the best discounts for Jungle Scout and the playlist with all my Jungle Scout tutorials. But basically product tracker will allow you to track the results of this product over time. So the guys here say that from six to 10 is like a higher opportunity score. So that's where you should be looking at, but not necessarily. Again, it's, it might be good parameter, but only based on a specific 
parameters that Jungle Scout from extension takes into consideration. Because you might have like very high opportunity score, but it's a seasonal product that blew up right now. And maybe actually the margins on it when you ship it from China are very low or something like that. So high sales, almost no listings, but very high tariffs, for example, for this type of product when you get it in the States. And maybe you can bring it for $1, but it sells only for six maximum, just as an example, right? So maybe not everything is uh, so great if it's six to 10, but it's interesting to look into those. So let's read a bit more. So since the opportunity score uses data that is always changing, sales and competition, to determine the score, the opportunity score can change from day to day as well. So things are changing. And of course, you got to kind of track the product tracker to see how these products are doing. Also, the opportunity score uses data from all listings that are displayed when you run the extension. Okay, you can remove listings or extract the next pages of results. Okay, so we saw it here. Uh, let me close this one or actually open this one. And if you go out of the keyword cloud, you can scroll down here. You have this load more. So this will load more listings okay, that are relevant to this keyword at least. So it says you can remove listings or extract the next page of results. This will also change the opportunity score. So again, we can remove listings that are uh, maybe irrelevant or we can get more results. So it says you can use this function to narrow down the results to very specific product listings and get an idea of the opportunity that exists. So what I usually do, for example, let's say we're, we're searching for kitchen scissors, but there are many different types of kitchen scissors under this specific keyword. We can try removing scissors that are not like the scissors that we're interested in. So for example, if we're interested in a specific design of scissors and a specific look, then we can remove all the other ones to see how those are performing, those specific designs of the product. And in this way, the opportunity score will change, of course, because maybe for a sub niche within this kitchen scissors niche, it's actually a better sub niche or a less good sub niche. Maybe in the kitchen scissors, specific type of scissors is the one that kind of brings this good opportunity score to this uh, kind of keyword, right? So, and it says here, if you're unable to see the opportunity score on a search results page, please go over to information available in the following article. Let's check it out. What can lead to that? And if you're not seeing the opportunity score and it's missing, so here are a few possible reasons why the opportunity score might be missing from your extension and troubleshooting. So make sure you have the most recent version of this tool. The extension should get updated automatically, but you can force a refresh by toggling it on and off. You can download it in the description. There's also a tutorial that shows you how to use the extension from A to Z. So you can toggle it on and off, go to Chrome extensions. Uh, you have this uh, kind of, uh, basically you can write it into your browser, uh, look for Jungle Scout extension extension and move the slider to the off position and then turn it on again. Pretty simple, or it's going to be on the right upper side on your browser or my right upper side extensions part. You can find it there sometimes if it's not uh, kind of added to your screen here. The next thing to verify is that you are on Amazon product results page before running the extension. So you got to go to the Amazon product results page. So for example, here it's uh what do we have here? I typed in results for basket and table with lid. Okay, that's the name of the product. Yeah, basically, so that, that's the uh, results page. So before running the extension, you can go there. The opportunity score won't be displayed on an individual product page as there will be no metrics for demand, competition, or listing quality other than the single product. So basically, it's not going to appear on a single product, only in product results page. And also, it says here, please open this link. Okay, I can leave the link to this page in the description for you so you can go through it. And then you have this link as well, the missing opportunity score down in that page. And then you're gonna have this link. So it says, please open this link and run the extension. You should see opportunity score on that page. Let's see what that link is all about. So this leads, oh, that just leads you to Amazon. Okay, that just leads you to, to Amazon, to some Kong. Okay, so this is just a toy or something. Please open this link and run the extension. You should see the opportunity score on that page. If you don't see this information, and please make sure that the LQS column is enabled inside Customize View Options. So click Customize View and then select LQS. By the way, LQS, if you want to know what it's, all about. I have a video up here and in the description to go deeper into LQS. That's listing quality score. But basically, LQS is something that appears. Let me show you quickly. So it should appear here in customized view. And then you have LQS here. Okay, you can see this part. You gotta, you gotta make it appear, or you can kind of click 
on and off on it. So, you know, so, so it uh, basically refreshes or something, but they say just make sure the LQS column is enabled. Okay, so you have it enabled, apply, the extension will refresh and the opportunity score should be displayed in the top right corner. If you are still having issues after running through these steps, we recommend going over the instructions in the following article. So you need to install, uninstall or install the extension. Basically, I have another video for that that you can find up in the card where I explain to you what to do if Jungle Scout is not showing sales. But again, you just reinstall the extension. It's pretty easy. Reinstalling the extension is a great way to troubleshoot the tool if it is not operating properly or if the GS icon has disappeared from your browser. So you go to your Jungle Scout account, choose the extension on the left hand navigation panel. As you can see right here, it's on the left here. Okay, you can check it out. And then click the button corresponding to your preferred browser. Extension is available for both Chrome and Firefox browsers. So basically you just get it again. You have the links to it here or you can just use the link in the description to get it. You add it, you can reinstall it. Uh, it's pretty easy also on uninstalling it. You just go to your Chrome extension kind of a page and then remove it from Chrome. You have the link in the description just in case. Basically that's for the opportunity score. Up here on the screen, you're going to have the playlist of Jungle Scout tutorials that I have for you. The best discounts for Jungle Scout are also here on the screen and in the description. And thank you for watching my video. I wish you a great life. Thank you. Bye-bye.